New Jersey, but also as Donald Trump's friend for the last 14 years. We are about to be led by not only a strong leader, but by a caring, genuine, and decent person. I'm proud to say that the voice of the people of our nation is being heard in this hall tonight, and those voices want Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States. This election is not just about Donald Trump. No, it's also about his Democratic opponent, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Now, in the past few weeks, we've seen the Justice Department refuse to prosecute her. Over the last eight years, we've seen this administration refuse to hold her accountable for her dismal record as Secretary of State. So let's do something fun tonight. Tonight, as a former federal prosecutor, I welcome the opportunity to hold Hillary Rodham Clinton accountable for her performance and her character. spending. 
So, Hillary Clinton putting big government spending financed by the Chinese ahead of good paying jobs for middle class Americans. Is she guilty or not guilty? Let's go to Syria. In Syria, imagine this. Imagine this. She called President Assad a reformer. She called Assad a different kind of leader. There's now 400,000 dead. Think about that. 400,000 dead at the hands of the man that Hillary defended. So we must ask this question. Hillary Clinton, as an awful judge of the character of a dictator and butcher in the Middle East, is she guilty or not guilty? Next, next in Iran, she launched the negotiations that brought about the worst nuclear deal in history. Let me be clear. America and the world are measurably less safe and less respected because of the Iran deal that Hillary helped cut, period. After she launched those negotiations, she became the biggest cheerleader for this agreement in the end. It's a deal that will lead to a nuclear Iran, an Israel that will be less safe and secure, and a much more dangerous Middle East. So let's ask it. Hillary Clinton, as an inept negotiator of the worst nuclear arms deal in American history, is she guilty or not guilty? Next. decisions as 
Secretary of State. She set up a private email server in her basement in violation of our national security. Let's face the facts. Hillary Clinton cared more about protecting her own secrets than she cared about protecting America's secrets. And then she lied about it over and over and over again. She said there was no marked classified information on her server. The FBI director said that's untrue. She said that she did not email any classified information. The FBI director says that's untrue. She said all work-related emails were sent back to the State Department. The FBI director said that's not true. So, as to Hillary Clinton, the charge of putting herself ahead of America, guilty or not guilty.